Yeah, so once again, um, my phone is being remotely disabled, even though there's a fantastic Wi-Fi signal. Do you see that right there? It's not working, but the Wi-Fi is working. So the Wi-Fi signal is right here. If there was no Wi-Fi, that little triangle right there wouldn't be there. But all of a sudden, this phone isn't working because I'm trying to use it to send an email to the Greenville group regarding some really violent pounding that I just experienced against the wall behind my toilet about 20 minutes ago while I was trying to quietly use the facilities in my bathroom and also some violent pounding from the violent uh, thug directly below in 76 who suddenly started pounding against the floor to this unit as soon as I uh, came out of my bathroom to wash my hands after using the toilet. So within like two minutes, the sex offender in 78 and the violent thug in 76 started becoming extremely agitated and aggressive and making pounding noises against the walls and floor of my unit while I was trying to either use the facilities or wash my hands after using the facilities. They have this sick and twisted need to uh, see what I do in my bathroom and then also to intrude upon what I might do after using the bathroom. They become extremely intrusive because they want me to know that they can see or have knowledge of what I do in this unit. And that, you know, that's confirmed by Boston police detectives uh, a couple years ago who told me that they knew that there were surveillance devices in this unit during the pandemic, but they're not sure if those devices are still there. So that's not me being paranoid. That's the Boston police verifying what other people have told me about the surveillance devices in this unit. And now this phone that I'm trying to use to send an email to the Greenville group about this sudden aggressive harassment from two sex offenders in the adjacent units to mine, now it's not working. And I keep saying that the sex offender Irizarry is also a hacker because that's what the Greenville group have told me about her. Also the Boston police. Um, she's remotely disabling my devices frequently when I try to use them to report her behavior or to report dysfunctions or malfunctions in this unit as they pertain to the Greenville Group's criminal negligence in this unit. And they're proving me right. Everything that I say about these lowlifes, they prove me right. Okay, so I just checked the Wi-Fi signal. It's fine. Wi-Fi, Xfinity. That's what I'm connected to. Connected, not secured. Signal strength, it's fine. It's right up there, right? So why is this phone suddenly not working when I'm trying to use it to send an email to the Greenville group about a voicemail I just left them eight minutes ago regarding the violent pounding from the thug directly below in 76 and from the sex offender directly behind my toilet in 78 while I was trying to use the bathroom 10 minutes ago at the same time. And there had been no further pounding noises since then. There was also no pounding noises before then. It happened as soon as I sat on the toilet, not before and not after. That means it's ex it's totally activity specific and it is based entirely on me using the toilet they like to let me know they can see what i do in my bathroom my bathroom was renovated last week i'm surprised there's still surveillance devices in there maybe you know they're on the ceiling fixture or somewhere on the you know mirror or something i mean they didn't remove any of the fixtures they just painted the bathroom so you know there's that but this wi-fi should be working just fine and it's not